first at 5:30, Suffolk police are looking for the man who hit a cyclist and took off. It happened early Saturday morning on Manning Road. Police say the suspect was driving a white four-door Chevy Cavalier with a model year between 1995 and 2005. The car may have damage to the driver's side mirror. Ten on your side's Brandy Cummings is live in our newsroom with the story on how the cyclist uh, is doing and how he's recovering from those injuries. Brandy? Yeah, Stephanie, Laura Dylan Ralston was training for that triathlon Saturday morning when he was hit, and because of his injuries. He can't compete this year. But what makes matters even worse is he can't work right now, and the person who hit him hasn't been caught. You know, when I go to bed, I, I see the car, I hear the crash. It's going through my head. It's an image, a moment in time he'll never forget. Deep in my heart, I'm hurt. Saturday morning's ride was supposed to be normal. Dylan Rolston was on an 80 mile training route, getting ready for an October triathlon in Louisville. He left home early to beat the heat. He was on Manning Road, about nine miles from home, a familiar stretch. Normally, the cars come around the corner, they see me, they slow down. On this rural road, he counted three cars pass by in half an hour, but the actions of the third driver were unusual. And it was kept on going straight and it kept on coming at me. Ralston, riding on one side, saw the headlights headed toward him. He says the driver crossed the road. I just knew the headlights were too close. I had to get around them and I just. I did a quick move and that's when I felt the side of the car and I hit the, it, you know, hit the mirror. The impact left him in this ditch with two broken fingers, a compressed wrist, abrasions to his left arm and an AC separation to the right shoulder. I was aiming for the yard in the ditch, but I couldn't get away fast enough. Ralston says the driver stopped, but only for a moment. You know, this person came up to me hysterically crying and, you know, and I asked myself, are you laughing? He goes, no, I'm crying. So I don't know what state he was in, but, um, I do know that, you know, he was he was ready to get out of here. He was scared and he took off. Ralston went to a nearby home to get help. He doesn't know if the driver was impaired or distracted, but wants him held responsible. He wants everyone else to get the message. We're all out together and we don't want people to get hurt doing something they love. Dylan Ralston has a long road to recovery. He showed us the bicycle that doesn't appear to have any damage, but because it has a full carbon fiber frame, He's going to get it checked out to be sure. Now, once again, police say the suspect was driving a white four door Chevy Cavalier with a model year between 1995 and 2005. The car may have damage to the driver's side mirror. If you know anything that can help find the car or the driver, call police. That person faces felony hit and run charges. Live in the newsroom, I'm Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side.